the murder, cold-blooded, terrorist, criminal murder of the Iranian general, Qasem Soleimani, almost started World War III because, as I said here, uh, Iran had no alternative uh, but to respond to it. And if Donald Trump had responded to their response, then we would already be in the middle, if not of World War III, then of war throughout the world. And that war would have been unpredictable, violent, bloody, and potentially never ending. After all, the Iraq war is still uh, rumbling uh, all these years after Mr. Bush and Mr. Blair shook hands on democracy in Iraq. What price democracy then? in Iraq because the Iraqi parliament and prime minister have both told the US occupation force in the country that they must leave and that they must begin now uh, that withdrawal. And the United States government have boldly declared that we are staying. In other words, uh, their occupation of a sovereign country with whom they're supposedly in a treaty alliance is worth nothing, not even the paper that it's written on. Well, I'm here to predict to you that the United States will be leaving Iraq. It will either leave by agreement, by negotiation, in good order and peacefully, or it will leave under fire amidst chaos and bloodshed. But one way or another, it's as sure as eggs is eggs, as sure as the United States left from the roof of their embassy in uh, what is now Ho Chi Minh City, which was Saigon uh, back in 1975, the United States will be leaving Iraq. And that's for the better. It's for the better for the people of the US. It's for the better for the people of the region, the people of the world. Mm -hmm.